Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be Matthew chapter 28. Let's get started now. Matthew chapter 28 is the last chapter in the Gospel of Matthew and contains the account of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This chapter is a significant one as it details one of the most fundamental aspects of the Christian faith. The events described in this chapter took place after Jesus' crucifixion, death, and burial, and it serves as a fitting conclusion to the Gospel. The chapter begins with the visit of the women to Jesus' tomb on the first day of the week. The women, who were Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, went to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body with spices. However, they found the tomb empty, with an angel of the Lord sitting on the stone that had been rolled away from the tomb's entrance. The angel informed the women that Jesus had risen from the dead, just as he had said he would. The women were told to go and tell the disciples the good news of Jesus' resurrection. As they were leaving the tomb, they encountered Jesus, who greeted them and reaffirmed the angel's message. The women were overjoyed and immediately went to tell the disciples. The disciples, however, were skeptical of the women's report, and two of them, Peter and John, went to the tomb to investigate. They found the tomb empty, just as the women had said. The Gospel account then goes on to describe Jesus' appearance to the disciples. Jesus appeared to the disciples in Galilee, where he had instructed them to go after his resurrection. He appeared to them on a mountain, and they worshipped him. Jesus then gave them the Great Commission, instructing them to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This chapter concludes with Jesus' promise to be with his disciples always, even to the end of the age. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the cornerstone of the Christian faith, and Matthew chapter 28 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. This chapter teaches us several vital lessons that we can apply to our lives today. Firstly, the chapter reminds us that Jesus is alive. The fact that he conquered death and rose from the grave is evidence of his divinity and power. As Christians, we can take comfort in knowing that our Lord and Savior is not dead but alive and present in our lives today. Secondly, the chapter teaches us about the importance of the Great Commission. Jesus' command to make disciples of all nations is still relevant today, and it is our duty as Christians to share the gospel with others. We are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus, spreading his message of love and salvation to all those we encounter. Lastly, the chapter reminds us of Jesus' promise to be with us always. This promise is a source of comfort and strength for Christians, especially during difficult times. We can take heart in knowing that Jesus is with us, guiding us, and supporting us, no matter what challenges we may face. In conclusion, Matthew chapter 28 is a powerful chapter that reminds us of the fundamental truths of the Christian faith. As we reflect on the events described in this chapter, we are encouraged to live our lives in a way that reflects our belief in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible verse below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back, here for our next video. Always take good care.